how how close were we on time, even with that 35 knot headwind? Three mi three minutes? That's not bad. Not too shabby. I don't think we had that much of a headwind up there. I really don't. Oh, come on, glasses. Man. Can you see I've got this thing tangled in my necklace? Yeah, yeah. It's I usually don't once in a while. There you go. There. there you Thank go. you, Chris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a seven zero Quebec, wind three four zero one zero, runway three zero clear to land. Clear to land, runway three zero seven zero Quebec. Prescott Tower, Archer three five four, Mike Alpha, um, holding short at uh, Echo one for three zero. Would like to take off for Cottonwood, please. Archer 354 Mike Alpha, Prescott Tower, runway 30 cleared for takeoff, wind 34010, traffic uh, Cessna right base, no delay. Clear for takeoff, uh, for Mike Alpha. The 70 Quebec, one departure, priority arrival. I see you. Zero Quebec, Roger. Okay. So, even though we're on the ground, we still need to get that wind down, the wind down into the wind. It okay. won't steer us, okay? Yeah. Because when we get off, if we have them level, it'll take and flip us, so we don't want that to happen. Gotcha. Okay, everything right. is in the green, pump is on, fuel pump's on, lights cam action. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get that. See how that right wing's coming up already? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I you're you're gonna go straight because with the rudders make us go, okay? Yeah, yeah. And air speed is alive. Okay, and keep that wing down. Okay. Good. It's getting a little gust in it now. I can see by that wind sock. This is where Ruger has the plant making guns. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh huh. Okay. And the VOR is not too far from here. Usually, when we get a little higher. Arch for my uh, alpha right turn approved. Right turn approved for my alpha. Okay, now, again, a little hint. To go way over the top of those mountains, we're gonna get mountain waves. Yeah. And again, you gotta climb a lot higher. What I'm gonna suggest is uh, between these little foothills here and Mingus, kinda head that way. The seven zero Quebec, where do you park? Model deck for 70 Quebec. 70 Quebec. If you like, continue down a runway, turn right to taxiway Charlie, and then contact ground point seven. Uh, Roger, 70 Quebec. That's the tower, 52 Sierra, this is your final. You can't find 52 Sierra, runway 30. Okay, now you runway. can kind of see the other two runways. This yeah, north yeah, runway ends right just about almost to the Ruger plant, the tower, just where those hangars are. Yeah. So the north yeah. runway is a little shorter. Okay. So we want to go in between that one and the bigger one? Yeah, we'll kind of, I don't think it should be an issue. Either that or we can go just to the left of this one here, this little one. Okay. I'm off the ground at 10.15. Uh, uh, uh-huh. Okay. No pressure, Scott. Okay. And we'll be able to see Sedona once we go over this and head for Cottonwood. Oh, yeah. Can There's see the, the Red, red Rocks. Rocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Cap on 5-2 Sierra, you park at Monarch? That's a firm. Yeah, five five two here. Turn right, taxi way Delta. Contact ground point seven. Traffic helicopter crossing downfield. Right at Delta, then up the ground. Thank you very much. You have any more students today? Two. Two One more. guy at eleven. 
he got sick yesterday, so he didn't fly. And hopefully, I told him at 11, but I texted him. I said, running a little late. If you're feeling better, make it 11.30 or so. Yeah. But then my next one after that's at 2 o'clock. So he's, I'm just checking him out for my Galpa. Oh, okay. But he's going to be a new instrument student, too. But he just wants to spend a little time and do a cross-country with his wife. The 25th of this month, so I told him, I said, I need to find a time frame. And if this will be down, if there's loaders they can put in, great. If there's not, then it'll be down for whatever. It doesn't take too long to fly. Are they going to just uh, replace them with remand and send these back you out? You know, I don't know. And that's, that's what would make it speedy. But to save money and she just wants one thing worked on, I don't know if, they'll, if they just have to send it out, work on that one thing and come back. Because a reman is the better way to go. In the long run, you could end up doing every little thing it is and spend more than what you get for a reman. Yeah. And Francisco Peak. Uh, you betcha. Archer for my Galpa free exchange approved. Have a good play. Free exchange approved. Thank you. Now, is there any ASOS or AWOS at um, Cottonwood? Negative. Okay. What we're going to have to do, if there's somebody in the pattern, that's helpful. They'll pretty much know what the winds are. If not, we usually fly over the top of the airport, 90 degrees per, uh, perpendicular to the runway, 500 feet above TPA to check wind socks. Right. TPA is 4350. Okay, so at 48, we can fly over. But it's close east of to the bottom of Mingus Mountain. They have We're hearing Casa Grant because it's the same frequency. Oh. Party line. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. When you look at all the non towered, it would be 122.7, 122.8, 122.9. 123.0. Those are kind of the typical ones that they use in this area. So it's right pattern for runway 32. Central yeah, traffic, but it's 559, not a papa. Seven miles southeast of Central View R at six thousand five hundred feet for transition towards towards the west. Central traffic. The airport I think is gonna be We just need to get on the other side of these mountains and go right. Yes. Uh-huh. But being down at the bottom there's hang gliders that they jump off of Mingus Mountain. Oh. And what was there, an accident up here a couple, three months ago, an airplane in an ultralight or something? Oh, I didn't hear about that. Yeah. I saw it on the news, is what I saw. Especially up here in the mountains, like you're going over the rim by Payson, you can look for that. It'll be lighter colored, even though there's not many trees here. Up there, it's even more predominant. So you think, aha! See, so you're learning today some of the different things. It'll be easier to see those power lines, okay? Yeah. Just because of the swath that gets cut out. There they are right there. Yep, uh huh? on the north side of 
right here of Mingus? Oh yeah, a little bit. I think that's the airport over there. It's on top of a mesa. And you'll see the red box behind it and then this thin strip of white kind of going this way. I think that's where Sedona's airport is. Okay. I I see it fairly often, but I don't come around this way usually. Okay, now we're about nine miles away. Do you have an idea of where you might see the airport? Um, well, it should be over here somewhere, but uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know that I can, I can see it. Yeah, Emma, that's it right there. Yipper, it's next to the highway. Okay. So we can start, and you can just say, um, Cottonwood Traffic, who we are. Yeah. Uh, request airport advisories, please. You know, and if somebody's there, or if there's somebody in the terminal, then they can give you, if not, oh, it's 1-4 and 3-2, and usually we land on 1-4, but it's going to be right pattern for 3-2, so we're not supposed to go on this side of the airport, you know, to land coming this way, so we'd have to go out, but that makes sense because of the winds that could come over and all the ultralights and hang gliders and stuff. Okay. And this is part of the Jerome mine. There's Jerome right there. Oh, there's the mine, I see. Uh-huh. Cottonwood traffic, Archer 354 Mike Alpha, about six miles to the west. Uh, request advisory, please. Yeah, Cottonwood traffic, uh, 0.871 Zulu on it. Thank you, right uh, downwind for uh, three two. Okay, and ask him where his jumpers are. Uh, did you say you had jumpers? All the jumpers are on the ground currently at Cottonwood. All right, thank you, sir. Before my call. All we need is one more thing. Where are they? Side, side. Oh, yeah. I'm down too. Yeah. I tell you, I came about 300 feet, maybe at the most 200, from. Uh, doing a tandem drop and they were about 12 miles west of Eloy and we were way away from Eloy and when you see two bodies going in front of you right out it's like oh my gosh yeah so he's gonna land on 3-2 he'll let us know but you can see the runway so and it says RP right pattern for 3-2 that means we have to go out okay he's right base yeah, I don't see him. Cottonwood traffic. There he is. Seven eight one Zulu. Base final three two Cottonwood. Oh, I got him. I got him now. And we're playing up out that if we need to change, we can just do like a two seventy and come back and land on one four. procedure is to fly across 500 above traffic pattern so you're not interfering with traffic pattern, looking for a windsock or a tetrahedron or uh, whatever wind indicator they have. And yeah, let's kind of stay where we are right now. I don't like airplane noise in this little town of Cottonwood. On the wrong way in. Oh, yeah, I see him. About midfield. Traffic at Cottonwood, no. uh, wind favoring 3 2, currently a little bit cross, right and left. Thank you, sir. I'm uh, entering. Down, entering downwind on uh, right pattern for 3 2 right now for my call. Okay, I wouldn't descend anymore. Kind of keep this. Alright, I think we can turn base. Okay. And you can announce turning right base. Cottonwood traffic archer for Mike Alpha, turning right base to 3 2. Cut. Okay, now we can start our descent a little bit more. Cottonwood 
Traffic Archer for Mike Alpha turning final for 3 2. Cutwood. Knee set from right to left. So I'll be coming this way. That's looking like what we're having to do to keep that center line. And it kind of goes downhill on 1 4, if I remember correctly. Okay, over here to the white line, Chris. Keep it always under your seat. Oh, wind sucks not much. It looks like it's right down the runway here and on that little hill. Okay. Um, no, I think we can make it. Well, maybe not. We're going to be... Okay, On the brakes. Flaps down. Oh, we got it. Okay. This is a little deceiving. Yeah, because when you lose sight of the runway, it's like, okay. <laughs> That's when you start getting reference. Oh, the end of the runway is right by the beacon. Okay, yeah. we can turn left here. All right, typically. I don't know if that taxi, oh, no, that taxi is not finished yet. Yeah, she wanted to float. <laughs> well, I only had in that first notch of flaps, and we were doing 80 plus when we yeah. were over the three. You can say we're- Mike Alpha is uh, clear of the active. that I flew from Idaho Falls down here about four years ago. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. 